Welcome to Perth's number one podcast. You're listening to the Jamo and Dylan Show. Yeah, yeah, we're on the way to Dunsbra, a little mad trip with the boys. We're celebrating. G'day, guys, and welcome back to the Jamo and Dylan Show. It's episode 58. Eight. There you <laughs> go, Jesus mate. Christ, we're getting up high in the numbers. Uh, very happy to be here today. It's been a good week for us. It's been a great week. We've met, reached some nice milestones. Yeah, first so million never, view talk. Never hit a million views, and it's at three million. First two million view talk versus three million mm-hmm. view talk. Tick, so. tick, tick. Um, followers, uh, all the new people that are listening, it's good to have you on board. Yeah, you're coming on. This is still an early stage. I feel like you're coming late stage. because when we're at episode 500, you can say, I watched since episode 50. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's pretty cool. A lot of American viewership on the, the TikTok that went viral, so that was great. 100%. As well. And That's the key, isn't it? We're happy to have everyone on board. Um, along with it being a good week, I remember last weekend I went out and met a two-time Brownlow medalist. You did, mate. Right? For those who don't know what a Brownlow medalist is, it is the best player in the AFL for that season. Right? I met Nat Fife. AFL being Australian football, for those mm-hmm. um, foreigners who probably won't know what that is. Um, so I met Nat Fife. If you don't know him, look him up. Right? Would he be your favourite player of all time? Probably not my favourite player of all time, but probably one of the best players I've ever seen. A top five or three or not even? Oh, I'd be, yeah, top five, top three for sure. Okay, yeah. So up there. He is. So to see him in the flesh was, was incredible, right? Now, I've met him out at OBH. No, I didn't meet him at OBH, but we were at Ocean Beach Hotel. He was the upstairs, spot, mate. right? We we heard, heard the news about that and then... Neck minute, um, it's 10 o'clock and we're at the Arbor in Frio, right? And I'm in the line waiting to go into like the underground nightclub. Pretty cool there. And Fife walks past, goes to the toilet, you know, just like a common person. The common man going to the toilet. Of course, mate. Um, so everyone's getting excited. Everyone's chatting. Oh, Fife's here. Fife's here. Um, I can only imagine what it was like for him. The attention was ridiculous. Um, a bit like us mate. at OBH. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. But no. Um, so, Five ended up coming into the nightclub and was having a great time. Very drunk. Off season, mate. you got to enjoy yourself, himself, don't you? Enjoying himself. And I met a lot of the Frio boys, Mazungu, Tabana, um, DeBoer, like a lot of former players too. Alex Pierce as well. Um and basically, I got a photo with Fife, and it was like we're best mates. Yeah. Doing a little shadow boxing with each other. He's taking, like, fake speckies on me. Then I tried to do it on him. Couldn't get my knee high enough. Oh, but, no um, chance. Right? Mate, yeah, that's he's like 6'3 right. or something. Yeah, he's a massive, massive human being. Anyway, so the the coolest bit of the night was that at midnight when the place closed, uh, we were both walking back to our respective vehicles, and um, he was with his girlfriend and her friends. That's that's how I saw it, mm. right? And he's stumbling to the car, and I'm walking with with a couple of our mates, El Chapo, and um, then Fife's like looked over at me, might have remembered me from the little chat we had in the club. Hopefully that was the case, and he's pulled a footy out the car and tried to spot me up from thirty meters away. Yeah, and he's overcooked it. It's gone over my head, right? And I'm thinking, holy shit, I've got a chance to have kick to kick with Nat Fife. A dream of yours, mate. Scoop the ball up. It's a deflated footy. Not very good. Uh, I've chucked it on the right. It's sort of come off the side of the boot. Perfect uh, distance. And the line was just a bit off. And I've hit the car. So I'm thinking, holy shit, this isn't good. I've hit the car. But then my brain switched. And I'm thinking, great opportunity to go over and apologize mm. to the girls. And also have a conversation with this two-time Brownlow medalist. Went over there. Sorry, girls. I didn't mean it. Um hope you have a good night. Make sure you get him home safe. And then I had a chat with him and he goes, I'm not going to let this club down and I'm not leaving until we win a fucking flag. There you go, mate. Made me happy. So, yeah. Nat Fife and I are best mates and, um, yeah. Do you believe him? I do. I could see in his eyes. I looked deep into his nice, beautiful, fucking sexy eyes and I saw that he meant everything he was saying. He said, we're going to win a fucking flag and I'm not done until we do it. How old is he? 27, 28. So, so maybe you, about you, four you years. About four years, yeah. Okay. Yeah. About but, four seasons left. Mm-hmm. And you have him at very good for the next two years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then he'll start dwindling out, I think, just through injury and stuff. But who knows? You never know, mate. Yeah. So that was fun. Um, 
in our in, 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 in other news, um, we have copped a lot of messages this week. Positive, negative, funny. Oh, we, yeah. We've had the lot, and that that comes around. with a lot of views. You know, you're going to get everything, right? And one of the the common misconceptions of us is that people always think that we're high, mm. right? That's written a lot. Maybe mate. maybe Bob in the background is a bit of a giveaway, but um. We've it's actually not really we've, the case. We've never we do this been in a, high for an episode. We do this in the morning. Yeah, we do on it in the Friday morning. morning. So you could say maybe we're still a little bit tired. Our brains aren't functioning to their full capacity. It's also a comedy podcast, right? So sometimes, like, yeah, it's not all. We're not actually. Yeah, we're not you know scientists, I mean. yeah, right? Like, and yeah, come on. But even a lot of those science, obviously, we got a lot of response about the fucking in a train, on a train, whatever. And we spoke about this before. So you see the first few answers of people giving an explanation, wind resistance, yeah. air resistance, whatever your answer 15, is. 15, 20 of them. When you see 20 of them, what makes you think, oh, yeah, I'm going to comment that as well? Mate, everyone already knows you're not special commenting being the thousandth comment saying air resistance. You probably didn't know the fucking answer either. Exactly. And you've just seen someone else. Come on. You boys didn't go to basic um I Basic learned this in year two. Class. Oh, really? They teach. I don't remember them teaching Einstein in year two. Fuck face. Like I saw someone comment that. Come oh, on, Einstein. mate. Einstein. Yeah. Einstein's relativity. I learned this in year two. Where did you go to school, mate? Obviously, you did. if you're on Harvard. TikTok, what you're watching me, mate, and yeah. you're criticizing me. Yeah. Fucking loser. And they take the time to like. They take the time to comment. Hundreds of duets of yeah. people saying. There was one guy who goes. He was in a room with like all the zing stuff behind yeah. him. And he, he goes, um, Obi Wan Kenobi sucks. There you go. <laughs> How to cut him deep? <laughs> um, he goes, is this really the um, the generation that I'm growing up with? I'm so worried for our future. I can't believe I'm a. Yeah, pa- some I'm guy so said that. Worried. Yeah, that guy. And I thought, guy. mate, you're 35. You're not my yeah. generation. Yeah, you're living in your mum's basement, bro. We actually had comments about that too. It's more. It's a studio. It's my dad's man cave. It's right? a studio, mate. <laughs> Yeah, people. Yeah, that one was. I can't believe this is the generation. I'm, are people really like this? Oh, nice home job podcast, mate. You're on TikTok. This is our generation's mm. thing. It is. Go watch Bold and Beautiful or something. I don't exactly. know, bro. Go, Go watch back. Friends or something. You know what I mean? Get out of TikTok, you 35 year old. <laughs> this is our generation's thing. Fucking loser. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Honestly, very true. No shade at Bold and Beautiful. My mum watches that. That's just what came into mind. My grandma watched it and then yeah. she's dead. Rest in peace. I love it to pieces. Um, I scratch my balls far too often. Off topic, but whatever. I always do as well. Um, Often, often. I think, so, you know, a lot of it comes through underwear, stuff like that. Sometimes it's just out of security. It's just like a comfort thing. Just (laughs) Is it? Just a little, you know what I mean? Just a little little touch up. Yeah, Um, 100%. You might notice, like, you probably can't see on camera, but I adjust my nuts all the time on the podcast. I'm, you know, it gets a bit, bit hot and flustered down there. It is what it is, mate. Mm. Well kept, though, due to Manscaped and just general hygiene. But, um, yeah, I'm just, I scratch my balls far too often. And especially at work, people always question me about it. Oh, are you all right? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, like, uncomfortable. Therefore, I need to readjust, you know? Yeah, because they're, they're there. They're not... It's not a when comfortable have, thing to have things hanging outside of your body, mate. A lot of girls don't understand. They won't. They'll never understand. They don't it. understand. I wish we could right. swap bodies for a day. Yeah, it would be so good. It'd be just. It would be so. And fun. then you could probably understand each other a bit better. Exactly. They need. They need to invent. How does science not invented that yet? Well, you could like science, brain transplant. 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 So you take a brain from which is a so conscience like transplant. Mine to I don't my know. girlfriend's. I think science, like, if you had to ask people in the 90s or two, even 2000, what do you think 2020 will be like? I feel like we haven't got anywhere near people's expectations. Yeah, flying cars. I thought by PS5, bro, it'd be like VR, <laughs> if you asked me when I had a PS2. Yeah. And I've seen videos that just graphic improve. Yeah, it's like, just like it's a way, it's just a nicer thing. console. You yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Um, but whatever. But yeah, like, if we were to say what's going to happen in 2050... <sighs> Look, I don't know, man. space by then on the moon or something, you know. So that's what we think, but we'll get there and we probably have only just hit Mars, you know. Yeah, or flying cars. Of, they won't even be flying cars, bro. I don't know. It's probably too dangerous. You'd have to have air traffic control. You know, Uber Air? I assume that's a thing. I reckon that'll be a thing. Yeah. That'd be scary, though. I think they used to do that in the past with, like, doves and shit. Like, as I sent messages. Mm, yeah, that, they that, did. that was email, bro. Yeah. Just give it to the pigeon, let him go. Mm, or an I owl, like Harry go. Potter. That's genius. 
muscle memory. I don't know. That's good training. Mm. A question um, my dad has, right, about a fly. Mm. Very small creature, right? Two wings. Tiny creature. Goes so fast. How the fuck does a fly move at such speeds being such a small creature mm. with tiny wings? How does it, Where does it generate the power mm. from? How? How are flies so strong? Dad zooming up and down on his bike, right, the other day. And the fly followed him the whole time, right? Man's going... How fast probably are you doing on a bike? circles around him too, you know, taking the piss. How fast are you on a bike? 40 k's an hour? Yeah. He's going like 30, 40 k's down like a little hill, right? And yeah, it's doing circles around his head. That is zipping away, right? Is it, do they like vibrate? Like, and then that's how they move so fast? Is it the speed in which their wings yeah, move? Yeah, I think it has to be the speed. It must be moving like thousands of flickers a second. I don't yeah. know what fly talk is, but. A thousand flickers. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I gotcha. But Another, yeah, how? I don't know, mate. Like, how does a fly move that fast? Mm. How does it stay afloat? We have a theory about this, actually. It's swimming in the air, basically. Mm. And we did get asked, to, we have a little thing. So, you're in a car. Yeah. A fly's in the car with you. Yeah. Obviously, you know, that's a G'day, mate. How you going? Is the fly moving with the car or is it just staying in one spot? Mm. Yeah, it's crazy. Let's break it down, right? Let's try and let's try and do science, okay? So we got it. People were last time criticised us. Have these guys heard of wind? Blah, blah. So there's no wind involved. So you can you can fuck that off. Correct. There's no because air resistance. We're, we're, we're in, in a car. We're in a vehicle. With all the windows. Close. Windows are up. Yep. Right. Aircon's off just to take anything out of it. Exactly. So let's say we're on the highway. We're going a hundred kilometers per hour. We're just zooming through. Zooming through, right? If the fly is on the dashboard not moving, right, it's going 100 kilometers with us, right? But what happens it's along when it's for the in ride. the air and it's flying? Who knows, man? My dad reckons that if it's flying around the car at 5 kilometers an hour or 10 kilometers an hour or whatever, you add that on to whatever okay. it was. So let's say it's flying around 5 k's an hour, you're going 100. It's, it's traveling at 105 kilometers an hour. If a fly... But then think about it, Right. Because they usually fly around the car. Mm -hmm. We have Google Maps, right? If they had a Google Maps for a fly, it's traveling at the same speed as us because we're both in a moving car. If it can't get out, it's going at the same speed. But when it's zipping around the car, like a headless chook, how fast is it going? Let know, us know, mate. scientists. Let us know, TikTok scientists. Let us scientists. know, TikTok science. Fuck it, do physics in year three and think you're Einstein. Physics is gay, bro. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, I know, you know what I mean? People, I didn't like, everyone th- thinks they're a scientist. You're not. Mm. You're reacting to my TikTok. Yeah. You're, I'm science. You're our We bitch. are science. Yeah. Yeah, and we're not high. No, this is just normal. This is how, this is called high functioning brains, bro. Mm. That's what it is. Exactly. It's outside the box thinking. Exactly. Even inside the box, inside the car mm-hmm. thinking, right? At what speed? Who knows? I don't know. What do you reckon? Message from sponsors, mate? That yeah. time of the time of the app? Let's hit it. This week, the Jamo and Dylan show is brought to you by Manscaped. All right, Dill. Manscaped have released a new and improved Lawnmower 3.0. It has a cutting edge ceramic blade which reduces trimming accidents. The battery also lasts up to 90 minutes. So I'm going to show you this little thing. 90 minutes, mate. Nice and compact. Good size. Ripper motor on it. It's got that LED light. Easy to get to places. Very good. Very good, mate. Also comes with this beautiful travel bag. Leather. That's what we like. That's a man's bag. The camera's not doing it justice, but it's a beautiful bag. That's all class right there. Mm -hmm. So you chuck everything you need in there. Comes with your your nice little newspaper. newspaper. Give that a read. That's also to catch the trimmings on the floor, you know, if you want to do that. We got the the ball. We got the ball deodorant. So here we got the crop preserver. It's beautiful, right? All comes in the one package too. The perfect package. Ball toner. Look at that. It's golden, right? With active um, pH control. I don't even know what that means. No, but, but it's bloody good, right? Also comes with the clipping heads. Mega tricks here. Mm-hmm. So Trimming you know heads, whatever charges, designs you want. USB powered. That's always handy. Waterproof. Use in the shower. Undies. And a t-shirt. Yeah. Come on. It's beautiful. It's right. a lawnmower 3.0 package deal, mate. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code Jamo and Dylan at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping with the code Jamo and Dylan at manscaped.com. Go and do it. Do yourself a favor. Hit them up.
All right, back to the show. So, I was having a chat with some mates from work, and we were talking about experiences we had in school, right? And this one came up. Um, have you ever called a teacher mum? Yeah, little, I have. I've never called a teacher dad. Yeah, but nor I have called I. A, yeah, I have. You call Not often. your female teacher's mum. Right. Less than three times in my whole schooling mm. career. But yeah, yep, same. It's happened. I, I reckon about three times. And sometimes it can get embarrassing if it's loud. Yeah. And lots of people hear. How do you reckon the teacher feels when they get called mum? In charge, you reckon? I think if. I'm your mother. If they're a young teacher, they wouldn't like it. Okay. True. If they're an older teacher, I think. It depends. They could take it as a compliment. You mm. see them mo- as a motherly figure or they could, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It just depends on the teacher. Because it doesn't really happen in high school. No. It's just a primary school thing. I think I did crack one in high school, did actually. You? I think that's when I, one time I did do it. Can you actually, remember? I can't remember it at all, but I just feel, just feel like, like you have done that it. has happened to me yeah. before, definitely. That sucks, bro. Um, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. One bloke said, oh, I said at least 20 times. Oh, and I was like, fuck? surely that's an that's issue. A, that means he's doing it on purpose at that point, bro. And then he said, this was one that I was like, fuck off, you've never, surely you don't do that. But then I was like, I think I've done it too. So, obviously, to get the teacher's attention in class, you put your hand up. To answer a question, you put your hand up. You go, oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, Jammo, yep. What's the answer? Yes. Oh, Norwegian. Norwegian. <laughs> Norwegian. Um, right, so you put your hand up. Oh, miss, yeah. Can I please go to the toilet? Stuff like that. And this bloke was saying, oh, yeah, I do it at the dinner table sometimes. Fucking weird. And then he goes... Oh, like, if we're just sitting around, like, I'd put my hand up if I wanted to talk. And I was thinking, I think I've actually done that a couple of times before. Really? So, let's say if it's my sister, my mum, my dad, and myself in a room. There's four people, right? And we're all just talking, right? And I can't get my word in. I'll put my hand up until I, I get the attention. And then I go, yeah, so, like... Wow. Mm. And I'm just wondering, what are some things that you've done at school? What are some things that... Like, how many times... Have you called teachers mum, dad, granddad? Like, have you ever called them anything mm. other than that? What are the weirdest things that have happened at school? And have you taken any of those things and applied it to real life? No, I've never done that. Mm. Bit wacky, bit, yeah. bit different. And it was unintentional. Maybe the happened. hand up was legit, but yeah, the mum thing, a bit strange. Oh, yeah, you're not going to intentionally call a teacher mum, are you? Mm. That's just... And I've never, I've never heard of someone calling a male teacher dad. No. I've never seen that Maybe in the classroom. It would feel strange for the male if a female... Well, maybe they'll like it, bro, that. if they're, you know, <coughs> dirty old men. Dirty We've old had a few of them at our high school, so... Yeah, there were a couple, yeah, who have been um, the way, you know, apprehended. That's the way the cookie will. crumbles. Yeah. Um, a little, little story here. So, my girlfriend got some new underwear. She said this is going to be a very, very questionable purchase, and I'm thinking... What the hell have you done? Are you thinking it's good or bad at that point? I'm, I asked her, oh, is it food? Is it like more clothes? Because she does shopping sprees online. Like, you know how girls are. Yeah. Most girls um, in my life. Anyway, so she she pulls out this item of clothing, right? Underwear. You know, girls' little knickers. Yeah. Sorry, ladies' little knickers. That sounded a bit sus. No, um, that's fine, <laughs> And I go, okay, what's so good about these? She goes, feel them. I feel them, and they're, they're quite thick. Are they like, what shape are they? G-stringy, like no, sexy, or like no, no, not? No, they're more so grandma like grandma Fucking like hell. More grandma Like, okay. Yeah, not not completely grandma, but Showing not, any not, butt, not or is it fully covered? Well, the butt pokes out. It's like quite, okay. a, quite a big butt, but um, yeah. So, basically, I go, so what, what's the purpose of this? Why is it quite thick? And why is it like padded? She goes, they're period underwear. I said to her, I'd be out of the room. I said bro. to her, what do you mean period underwear? And she said, well, I've got quite a light flow, so it's not heavy. Yeah. And she goes, because I got have quite a light flow, not much comes out. So, like, what's the purpose? And she goes, yeah, because I have a light flow. Like, um, I just thought it's going to be easier than having to use pads and tampons and stuff. And I thought, okay. Oh wait, what? No, you don't wear tampons. It's period underwear. <laughs> Bro, I don't even want to know about this, to be honest. I can't look at her the same. Yeah, it's just the period underwear. And I said, like, you're actually going to wear it? And she goes, oh, I'll try it. And then, like, I don't want that underwear being washed with any of my clothing. 
ever. There's just something that doesn't sit right with me. Should we actually get her down to talk about it? Yeah, if you want. I actually want to. I'd rather not. So we're on the topic of your period underwear. (laughs) It's like normal underwear. No, it's not. Well, no, it's like high-waisted sort of underwear. Grandma. Yeah, grandma undies. And they've got like inbuilt padding in them. So, like, if you wear them at, like, night time, you wouldn't have to wear anything else with them. You just okay. bleed out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. how do they get washed? You put them in a bucket. Okay. So, you're not, they're not getting put in my clothes? No. No, no, no. That's gross. Clothes. That's gross. I think just the underwear in general are gross, but... Look, I'm just trying different things. How much do they cost? $25. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I could have bought two and saved 20%, but... No. Nah. We'll try these ones, that. and we'll give the podcast an update on how they went. Yep, sounds good. Yeah. When's, when's your next one? <laughs> Get on. Like four weeks. <laughs> All right. Okay, bye-bye. Let's move on to some of this stuff. Was this sent in? A few sent in. A okay. few from... We were talking about this today. The old Royal Show sounds like an amazing place. Yeah, so my dad was talking to us about the old royal show. The 70s royal show. Mm, Olden days. And it is not anything as to what it is today. Not politically correct, but very, very fucking funny. They had freak shows, midgets, half man, half woman, Mm -hmm. deformed people. This is intense. They had a stripper tent. So, you know, the dad's come with his wife. She goes to get a show bag. He goes in the strippers with the boys. They had a boxing tent. Mm, so professional professional boxes professional boxes and you you paid like 10 bucks to go in there and your dad said that he, the boxes would knock basically everybody mm-hmm. out so like dad had like a hell rough around the edges mate who used to knock everyone out in the local area like just he was known as the man you know goes into the boxing tent and gets clapped up yeah mm. hard. hard within like two seconds your dad said yeah, he got quick put to the ground so Imagine going to... I would want to go to the Royal Show if there was shit like that. I can't believe they had strippers there at the Royal Show. Now they have wood chopping. Yeah, wood chopping and cheese and stuff. <laughs> cheese. When's it, have you been to the Royal Show? I haven't been for, I reckon, oh, three years. Yeah, about two, three years. Probably three it's years. It's an expensive day out. It is. Show bags are pretty pretty pricey. Rides and all, mate. But yeah, um, I would love the Royal Show to bring some of that stuff back, to be Just honest. Just to make it even more inclusive. Yeah. Yeah. Just have a tent for... I like that idea. It's a wacky tent. You go and you see a midget. You see a half yeah, man, it, half it woman. It wouldn't be nice for the midget. <laughs> no, they're the... getting paid though. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a choice. So last night, playing pro clubs with a mate, he mm-hmm. informed me about a certain doctor, right? Back in the day. So this bloke was a Nazi doctor in Auschwitz, the main little, you know, camp for the yeah. Jews where the atrocities happened. Mm. And this doctor is known for his experiments on people. So he's a crazy man, right? And he had an obsession with twins. Right. Male, female, doesn't matter? Doesn't matter. Just twins, right? He loved them. And what he would do is, especially if they were like children, he would be really nice to them, give them like, you know, candy and good food. And then... File stuff. No, but he wouldn't touch them up, bro. He'd go and sew them together. Back to back, just to see how it works. He'd, He'd... you know, cut limbs off. There's a story of him killing 14 twins in a night. One night, bruv. I didn't even know there was 14 twins in the world. This was all in Germany. And guess what happened to him? So when obviously when Germany gets I taken over... Sewn. Nope. Fled to South America, lived out his life perfectly, died of a seizure at like nearly 70. <sighs> lived out a life in South America. So is karma real? That, no, he's that, done atrocities and then he's gone and lived a tropical life. That shows in that South there America, is no justice in the world. And he died like 67, <laughs> dying of a seizure is kind of natural in a way. Like it's not... Well, back then, ages... Yeah, people plus he's been, age. you know, like he, the amount of toxins he would have breathed in being around in World War II. And, but, Jesus. So he, is, he does all these bad things to people. Crazy doctor. Crazy man, right? Tortured people. Kids and everything. One of the main people involved in all of the... Flees to South America, lives tropical life, probably had a Colombian girlfriend. 
bet you he's a very short man too. Probably, yeah. Probably like a Hitler size. Mm. Yeah. Just snuck away, bro. Hopped on a ship. Got lost in South America. How is that? That makes me so think. So he, he was making... Because conjoined twins were already a thing. Yeah, but he and just... He's going, he yeah, would conjoin we them. need more. Yeah. Just because he had this insane, like... Fuck, and he's crazy, bro. Head, that's yeah, he's fucked in the head. But he lived a life of... I don't know, probably probably joy in South America. People always say, the justice system, you know, but it, it doesn't work. I don't think justice... No, just no way. Work. And, like, I don't think he's going to go into an afterlife and just have struggles. He's just gone. It's just weird, isn't it? They're how crazy did, people. But how did he get off all of that? Like, how did he not get charged or anything? Well, just as soon as... I'm guessing, from what I read, he I didn't read too so much. Like, he fl- like, so as he knew Germany was losing or lost... A few of them, Nazis, like, hopped on a ship and escaped together. I think there was, like, six of them, it said. They, they help each other they flee into different in, parts of the world. Wouldn't be tracked in South America. No, not at all, mate. How are you going to find him? They didn't. They couldn't find him. They never found him until, like, 20 years after he died. They realised he wasn't the person who they said, like, he was buried under a different name and everything. Jesus. It's a crazy world, mate. That's wild. And politics and talking about that, mm-hmm. what would you do if you were President Jamo? Or Prime Minister of Australia, whatever you want. Prime President Minister. of America, Prime I'm Minister President of Australia. Of America. It's hard to know because we're not over there. Yeah. Um, what would I do uh, over there? They're not going to lie. I'd take away their guns and I know they're not going to like that. Banning the snowflakes. Anyone yeah. that anyone that gets offended, just, I don't know. The, cult, the cancel culture is insane. Yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, if I'm in America, I would definitely take away... Guns. You don't need to be buying guns at a Walmart. And I know to, to be honest, that, that's actually that. a very. I thought you were going to say something stupid, but no, that's, no, that's no. A good I would thing. I've always thought. I don't understand why they don't see that as yeah. an issue. To be honest, well, one of the biggest mass Trigger killings nation, in Australia though. happened with mass guns in Tasmania. Guns are gone straight away. They're gone. We don't have gun and violence then, at basically never. If you yeah. hear of someone getting shot, you're like, whoa. That's yeah. an, it. Goes on the news. Like one guy fired a shot in Armadale. That yeah. makes the news. Mm. Over in America, it's like. Just not every day, bro. It is. What would I do in Australia? And people always say, like, it's your right, it's your right. Hey, the but, amendments but are 200, 300 years old. Come on. I just don't understand why they love their guns so much over there. We're living fine over here without them. We are. We're living a good Probably life. Probably living better. If I was PM of Oz, I'd, I'd legalise weed because I think it's coming anyway. Yeah, I think it will come. I think it'll be this decade easily. Mm. So I'd just make that happen, you know. But I think, do you reckon like California legalization where anyone can go get it, or do you think it'll be just like purely? I medical, think it'll. Medical? I think it'll be proper. Yeah. Yeah, I really do. I think it's getting closer and closer. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, if smoking cigarettes is legal, it's hundred percent pretty much right. identical. And I mean, like, I just, I just don't see it being illegal for much longer. Yeah. You could probably make big bank off it as government too. True, and I reckon. I don't know, I'm not going to give stock market advice, mm. but I'd, I might chuck some money in that. Yeah, you never know, mate. I'd, pro- I'd make a Disneyland Australia. I've always wanted to have a Disneyland. You've in- got all these ideas. Yeah, I think about it a lot. Okay. I'd want to make a I Disneyland in Australia. And what else would I fix? I just oh, three-day weekend, bro. Yep. Friday would be a weekend. and Because four-day no working week, more productive people mm. would be... Because Wednesday's the new Thursday. You'd think, oh, I've only got one more day mm-hmm. left. Come on. That has to happen. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm doing, bro. It feels yeah. good. Come on. Feels very good. So, yeah, I definitely have um, three-day working week. Disneyland Oz, free marijuana. Mm-hmm. Not free marijuana. You're going to yeah, pay yeah, for that free, shit, but legal. Legalized. Yeah, yeah. That's Australia. Australia looks good. Dylan 2040. <coughs> 2040? Yeah. It's only 20 years Got to enjoy my... Oh, maybe 2050 then. Yeah. There you go. Got to enjoy 2050. my life. yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Probably couldn't even run for office after these these podcasts, to be honest. Probably not, but, but I don't know. Maybe we will change the world. You the never way know. That people look at it's the all world. out on the table. Honesty is, is key. It people is. like that. That's one thing people dislike about politicians is mm-hmm. the lies and deception, and you don't get that here. Exactly. You just get cold hard facts, uh, funny banter, and truth. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's, That's a good way it. to describe it. What's this here? And we had this sent in. <clears throat> so, what event would you have liked to view? Like in the past, you could have picked any. He. His example was 9-11. I probably wouldn't want to watch that. No, I'd probably choose like 
I don't know, cool sporting event. That's what I was thinking the exact same thing. I would have picked like just a really cool sporting event. Yeah. Let's try and think of sporting events. What's like an amazing, like a... Like Bradbury winning that gold medal. Yeah, that would have been elite. Like a really good, I've I've always wanted to see a World Cup. Like a World Cup final. Yeah, a really good World Cup final. Being in the flesh. Goal in the World Cup. Yeah, something just a really good sporting moment. Mm. I think I'd love to be there. So would I. I think that's the easy. I'd ne- I'm not going to view 9-11, bro. I don't want to go and watch people nah, die. That that's not terrible. My, not my preference. Terrible. I'm not going back to 40 years ago. Or wars. No, 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 no. That's not my style. Silly. Just a good sporting event. Yeah. Joyful. Give me And like, let me stay there for the party after. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only reason you want to go. Hell yeah, bro. Imagine being on the in the winning crowd of like mm. a... Oh. Oh, West Coast Eagles 2006 Premiership. Oh, that would have been a big day, wouldn't it? Whew. I wonder where they went. Like... Yeah, do, do no, they go? Man. Do they? Yeah, what club? It'd have do to they be a set to? after party, surely. Yeah, or they go this guy's house, and then everyone goes there. But I'm pretty sure they would have done clubs and bars. Oh, and stuff. well, I mean, they would have got on it real hard with mm. Benny and all those crackheads in that team. <laughs> they loved it, bro. <laughs> they were crackheads. They probably loved the party after more than the win. In a way, they would yeah. have just loved it. I reckon they've probably forgotten about the grand finals. <laughs> like, yeah. well, remember that time we partied in 2006? I don't even know why. Why'd you do hectic, that? Man. Yeah. I wonder what their reunions are like. If they even have any. If half the team rocks Half the up. team's probably fucked. Mm. You don't think Chris Judd come put together, obviously. Yeah. He'd come you see, like, Benny <laughs> rolling through in trackies. Oh. Daniel Kerr fucked. <laughs> Daniel Chick, isn't he fat now? Yeah, we're a punder's a big boy. Yeah. He's got foundation, though. No, so he's, he's done. He's, he's done well for himself. Yeah. But um, it's a crazy, crazy bunch of blokes they were. It is. Successful, though. Very you successful. You know, they got that flag, so... But I'd like to be successful and then have a fun life after and not... Yeah, you know, like the Chris, the, Judd, the Chris Judd shit. route. Yeah, Chris Judd it looks like he's having a very nice life. Yeah, got a beautiful wife, you mm-hmm. know, living in Melbourne. You don't want to be in and out of jail and exactly. on the news for it's not the best. cutting up your missus mattress with a chainsaw. Yeah. What, do you have 12,000 tech messages in a day or something? It's crazy. <sighs> Breaking records. I reckon that's a good Break- yeah. record. <laughs> Imagine that. Ben Cousins, mm. Guinness Book of World Records. What do you want to do first, voice messages or confessions? What are the voice messages this week first? All right. Yeah, there you go. Right. Here we go. Your favourite topic, voice messages. Hope you're enjoying the Jamo and Dylan show. It's now time to have your stories heard and your questions answered. To be featured on the potty, message the boys at Jamo and Dylan on Instagram. All righty, let's get these voice messages out of the way, mate. Anyway, I was taking a piece today. I was at the rush off somewhere. You know, I was in a rush, I was, you know, pissing hard, you know, supersonic mode. Um, and I kind of thought, you know, can women, you know, piss harder like Ben can? Or is that just like a man thing? We need to again. I reckon <laughs> I reckon they can. Yeah, surely. Definitely, surely. Because we have quite good um, penile control when we pee. Yeah, like flow you, control. Yeah, yeah, flow control and speed control. Like if you want to enjoy it, you go normal speed or a bit slower. But if you want it out the way... You turbo or if you're like jet busting, that. you know. Your whole, I reckon girls definitely have that control too. I reckon not as much control. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you if you, we're peeing, and like let's say I whip my dick out right now and start peeing, and you say, "All right," when I say stop, you got to stop. Mm. I reckon within a second I'd be able oh, to yeah, stop. Oh yeah, So you go stop. But I reckon a girl, they'd be like, "Oh no, no, no," and then like a little bit more would fall out. Good night, boys. Um. Quick question. What are your opinions on No Not November and are you participating? Cheers. No, we're not. And we don't really like it. I would never participate in that. No, I won't. If Israel Adesanya doesn't, then Mm. why do I need to? And he's a middleweight champ. Yeah. Like, as he famously said on Joe Rogan, I lost three times in the first day. Yeah. That just sums up. (laughs) It's the only time he'll lose. Oh, yeah. He's not going to lose, bro. Yeah. He's too good. Um, But yeah, no, we're not participating in that. No, we're not. No, we're not. I don't think it's necessary. Um... Not at all. No. And even if, like, there's money involved for, like, cancer or Just something. Just do Movember instead. You, you can pay the money, but you can still not. Like, it's a part of life. Exactly. Yeah. It's, an, it's natural. It is. It is. Like, that's with um, animals, right? Um, animals will fuck another animal when they need to, right? But because we're in a society where, you, obviously, you can't just do that because everyone has morals. Mm. you got to do it yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. you got to milk the cow. G'day guys, um, big fan of the potty. Um, just want to hear your thoughts on Tinder Gold. You know, if you've got a mate who's got Tinder Gold, is that the point where, you know, give him a 
pat on the back and a kiss on the cheek and say, you know, all right, mate, it's all good. You don't have to go that too far. I don't know. Thoughts, boys? Tinder Gold. What are the perks of Tinder Gold? Because I wouldn't actually know. Okay. From what I've been told, I've never had it, all right? Um, I've been told that you can swipe on anyone from anywhere in the world. So you can change okay. your location. You're not just where your GPS says yep. you are, right? Um, oh, yeah. oh, I've seen that on TikTok a lot, actually. Sure Everyone's like, oh, I can't believe the men in Australia, yeah. in Sweden. Yeah. You can swipe for as long as you want. So instead of being caps, Oh, do you get limited swipes? I'm pretty sure it's unlimited swipes. Oh, but you get limited swipes on normal Tinder? Yeah, you limit limited. Wow. Yeah. So you only get a certain amount per day or whatever, then you run out. That's boring. Um, I'm pretty sure... Super likes? I've seen a super like happen before yeah. on my mate's Tinder. I was playing his I Tinder. Think, I think you're playing it like I game. see Tinder as a game, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, I think normal account, you get one super like per 24 hours or something. Yeah. But then uh, you must get more. That just means, oh, I really like you. Yeah, like an extra. Mm. Okay. Um, but I'm pretty sure it shows that you've got Tinder gold. So I think if a girl saw that a guy had Tinder gold, they'd think, fuck, this bloke's desperate. Or like he's playing the game. He's playing yeah. this game hard. He's paying mm. to play. Pay to play. Pay to win. I know people who have had it. I don't know if I do. Maybe I do. But no people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking yeah. Yeah, okay. of course. Yeah. Um, so this bloke had it and loved it. Um, not sure how much success there was from it. However, he forked out the big bucks to get the most expensive version. Okay. I need but to do it. Yeah, I need but he, to do it. he's very crazy with his money. Like, he just lets it yeah. go, bro. Let's it fly. Yeah, he does not like give a, a shit. Delivering a message. The amount of money he spent on FIFA this year. Mm. Come on. So, basically, we, we see Tinder Gold as a desperate move. I don't rate it, but if you need it and you want it, do it. Yeah, you got to do it. How much, how much is it? I don't know. I'm going to have a quick Google. Oh, right. I'm interested. Tinder Gold is $30 a month and Tinder Plus is 20 So Tinder Gold, $30 a month. What the fuck? Mm. It's a few hundred dollars a year, mate. Like, nah, you don't need it, bro. No, nah, you don't. Come on. Okay, so I've literally just started listening to you guys. Um, and so I started at number one, uh, but obviously I've seen the most recent because that's how I found you guys. Um, and you guys talked a lot about your goals and you'd like to hit a certain amount of followers and stuff on TikTok and Instagram and stuff. Um, obviously someone who's new, I don't know where you guys are at now, really, without checking. Um, but I just wondered, um, if how often you guys, you know, stop and smell the flowers, like maybe I thought maybe I could ask, looking back so far at all your pods, like what's been the moment for you where you felt like everything changed, if it has yet? And, like, what are some highlights thus far? Um, really looking forward to going through your back catalogue. Yeah, should be sick. All right, safe. Appreciate it. Appreciate very it. Very nice, thoughtful question. Mm hmm Coming from England. Yeah. Right. Um, very thoughtful. So, basically, I, I appreciate highlights. how he's going back through the catalogue and he's listening from number one. Yeah, that's, that's respect. Cool. That's respect. And he'll see the progression. And I'm pretty sure we've dropped numbers along the way, like we said, oh, we're 300 oh, this week. Oh, yeah, yeah. 1,000 this week. And now we're over 5,000 a week and everything's going well. So, obviously, the TikTok has been doing very well. Yeah. Well, we, that was a big one. Like, mm. we've always wanted a million view talk and a million like talk. Yeah. So, we've hit the million view. So, that was nice. We work pretty hard. We're editing all week. We're putting mm. talks out. We're, we're thinking of ways to grow all the time. Yeah. It does take a toll on your fucking brain and your yeah, life. Yeah, you forget. Like, sometimes you forget about that. To look at it yeah, and appreciate exactly. it. And so, that's something I think we need to do more. I brought it up before we started the potty, actually. Like, we should set some time away mm. where we can go and just either relax in a beach, party, and just talk about oh, it. Oh, when things get <clears throat> actually bigger, you know, you'd need to take a two-week break and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's going to happen. But, but we like, don't need for to example, now, like, we've come from basically zero listens and followers. Yeah, yeah. To having an audience from all increase. around the world with millions of views across all platforms, we're doing bloody well, what and I'm excited for the future. But good, good turning point. I enjoy obviously the first Leavers video we made. That was so uh, Leavers video. That was kind of the start. The podcast, yeah, right? that was like a 
Like, oh, all right. Mm. That was a nice feeling. Yeah. Um, going to Toolies, that was just after that Levers video. That was cool. That we got was... a thousand views in a night with that, and that was insane. Mm. Like, we yeah. lost our minds, bro. That was sick. It was. I remember we were at McDonald's and we kept yeah. refreshing it. That was cool. Um, Cam McCarthy on, that was cool. That was good. That was a nice moment. Cam McCarthy, that was a, yeah, that seemed like a milestone for us because it was our first, I guess, notable guest. Yeah. Um, and like he led us into his home and like we did. We got to meet him and shit. That was pretty cool. Bloke. He's up there. For those who don't know what that photo is, that's, yep. that's Cam up there. Um, other turning points, I guess, like our first million view talk. Yeah. Just wet, um, even any talk, like first time people come up to you is always interesting. Yeah. Like that's a really weird thing. I guess a thousand listens and views combined. That was my goal yeah. for the end of this year. I wanted us to get a thousand per episode. Yeah. That's and I crazy. thought that was a stretch, bro. What did I? And then obviously, yeah, I still 100,000 on talk, you yeah. know, the 100,000, 10 and 10. So we're always setting goals, but yeah, we do need to stop. Yeah, we've and definitely enjoy achieved some good things well. so far. It's been nice. A long, long road ahead of it's us. It's only the beginning, mate. It's only been basically a year. So. Forming a legacy. There's a lot of time left. Years mm. and years. Many. But yeah, it's been good so far. Thanks for the message, bro. Safe. That was nice. Hey guys, I hope you're doing good. I'm just wondering if you've noticed how people eat food. Like, girls will tend to bring the food to their mouth, as like boys will tend to like lean down towards the food. I'm just wondering if you've noticed this or if it's just me. Let me know. I've I actually did see a TikTok on that as well. Okay. So I'm not really sure. So, for example, if you're eating spaghetti, right? You've got it on the fork. Okay. I um, go towards 100%. I, I go do. towards it, yeah. And girls will keep their... I feel like girls lean forward a bit and then bring it. And then bring it. But I think they bring it more so than moving to it. I'm going to have to take note of that. I wanna, I'm going to study yeah. how people eat now. <laughs> Just take watch notes. them. Yeah, that's interesting. It is very interesting. I wonder what the psychology <clears throat> behind that is. No idea, bro. We need a mate on to... Not a mate, none of our mates are psychologists. No, no one near. A psychologist, a smart man... Hi, so big fan of the potty. Um, so I was having a shower with my boyfriend the other day and I've noticed that every time he jumps in with me, he always turns the water colder. Is that just like a boy's thing? Like, do all girlfriends just have it boiling hot and all boyfriends hate that it's boiling hot? Let me know your thoughts. I'm with her. Yeah. You're the opposite. I am the opposite. I like my showers pretty hot and carly likes them kind of colder so mm. i'm yeah i definitely like my showers mm. warm and i would say you're in the lesser percentile because i've spoken to a lot of people about it and i go into the shower wanting a warm shower it can be pretty hot um but as soon as i let's say my girlfriend's in the shower then i walk in after i need to turn that motherfucker down because okay. it's the devil's water when she's in there it's hot bro it's hot and i reckon if if we have a shower together and I'd hop in after you, I would turn it down for sure. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Mm. Because this isn't something you and I talk about. Ever. Shower temperatures. No, no, no. Right? And it's Shower funny that we have such contrasting, I guess, feelings because our skin is different. Shower temperatures. Your mummy, Italian descent? Yeah. Maybe stronger skin or something? Maybe. Bro, this I'm, is ju crazy. I'm just pure white. I'm... What temperature did you shower? Yeah, and I, like, is this a common? Is this a Women common have thing? Women warmer showers because I've seen it on TikTok. I've seen like yeah. um, blokes getting into a shower and making like a TikTok about it, saying like, "Oh, they just walked into hell." Okay, but you're the opposite, which is interesting. And I have never I'm ran, in there, in, I've never ran into anyone that is the opposite. I'm in the flames. You know you're what I mean? In the flames, getting clean. A man's in hell before hell. Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. Or maybe it's just because maybe my shower temperature is normal, but it's just because my missus is like on the colder side in general. Might be. So we don't know. Maybe mine aren't even that hot. True. Maybe we need to test it. Yeah. Like like we'll, we'll put some. Everyone have showers. We'll, we'll have bodies on. Yeah. <laughs> put some shorts on. And just see what's yeah what's too hot and what's not. There yeah. you go. That's interesting to think. I've never thought about that before. There you go. So what Taze is warm. Yeah, so I I think I've always turned it down. Okay, 
And then the she, does that annoy her? Yeah. Yeah. Just take separate showers because I can't be fucked dealing with that. Yeah. Because like, if she's under the water, because obviously you, if you both stand under the water, you're not going to get much done. Yeah. So if I am under the, the water of the shower, right, I'll have it my temperature and then I'll step out and then she puts it on hers. That's it's fair. It's a hassle though. Yeah. Got to keep changing. Well, two shower heads you got to do. Yeah, or like a, or a really big shower a, with like one there, one yeah, there, yeah. and then you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the dream. That's hopefully what this brings, this show Exactly. One day. Brings a double-headed shower. <laughs> well, all right. That's the voice messages, mate. Siamese shower. Siamese showers. Mm-hmm. We'll finish up with some confessions. Let's hit it. So, first one from a young lady. She was uh, friends with benefits with a guy, right? Okay, Having FWB. Yep. She caught some feelings for him. After wait, wait. Do you remember KSI's song, Friends, friends with, with Benefits? Yeah, I do. Friends I do. Friends with Benefits. <laughs> Old school KSI. And Netflix. <laughs> I remember that shit. I miss old KSI. I still like him now, but yeah. he was such an icon yeah. for young FIFA players back then. Yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. But back to our FWB story. So she starts catching feelings for him, and after a year of hooking up, they take a two-week break, right? Mm. Two weeks later, come back together, and he said to her, I would only fuck you if you lost 20 kilos. 20 kilos. Which was one, shallow and rude and confusing. I then found out he had sex with one of my close girlfriends. I then left him and blocked him on everything. I recently lost 15 kegs. So I decided to throw him a bone and see if he would stay true to what he said. And yes, he wanted to have sex. Should I or not? No, I wouldn't. She wants to, bruv. Yeah, that's interesting. Is that how you get women? Tell them to lose weight and then they come back? It's interesting how... It's because she wants to seek approval from I, him I know. now. That's yeah, the psychology I know, but, behind but it. But he degraded her. Said you need to lose 20 kilos, right? She hasn't even hit that mark. She's I'm at the 15. I'm very and proud of her. Yeah, good right? for her. Losing very, that, very losing proud the kegs. of her. Good that job. That is fucking great. And, you know, well done. But I wouldn't go back to this bloke. I wouldn't personally. No. If I was in her position, I'd go, you know what? I'm looking good now, right? So you can't have this no more. But there's something about that, what he's done that's made her want it more. I know. And it's some Does that of that. Does that mean keep him keen, old thing? psychology that works sometimes. In her brain, she's thinking, I can't have him, I need to. Do, you know what I mean? It's yeah. that seeking approval shit. But do you reckon she's heard him say that and gone, okay, I'm going to lose the weight and try it again? Is that the main yeah, focus? Here? I reckon a hundred percent. That's been in the back of her mind. Yeah. To put it at ease. So she throw she threw the bone, and he and wants little to. Little doggy goes. Woof, woof. And, but now, does she follow through it or not? I wonder if she has. I reckon she's going to give in. We'll, we'll ask her, and we'll give hopefully get a follow, follow up. up. Yeah. But, you know, that's a very very interesting story. <laughs> this isn't a twenty confession. kilos. Yeah, twenty is a lot. Band surgery, bro. But fifteen's a good effort. That's a brilliant effort. Biggest loser can't do that. So, yeah, hopefully she's looking good, having fun. This is in a confession, just uh, another young lady asking us, going to Dunn's Relievers, just a little survival kit. What are the essentials to... So, she's going this year? Yeah. All right. Make survival sure you have kit. good food to make. Oh, yeah. Because that was a okay. big thing we messed, out, messed up yeah. on. Don't go, oh, um, meagering's cheap, so we'll buy heaps of meagering. You'll get fucking sick and hate meagering. Yeah, just... I still don't eat it because... Because of levers, yeah. poor memories. Yeah. Um, Get some, you know, bacon, egg and toast. You need to have that. You need to do, um, you know, sausages. You need to actually eat good, proper food. You need to feed yourself because it's a long bender. Find a barbecue. It is a bender, bro. Hopefully they have a little kitchen and they're not camping. It's bend cousins. Mm. That's how it feels. It's a week, bro. You don't get, well, for us it was, no, it was still great. We always say best, worst week. Yeah, um, best, worst week of our lives. Just make sure you got the good quality food. Good quality food. Um... You don't really need to be prepared for the nights because I think like... Whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens, It'll happens. Just That's happen. a part of the, the whole experience. You shouldn't be prepared for everything. Just be along for the ride. Be along for the ride. But also, be a main character. You've talked about that. Mm. Don't just be along for the ride. Be the, be the driver. Yeah. yeah. Drive the car. Bus driver's driving everyone there to the zone. Say, so, mate, I got it. Hop on, mate. Hop on. Ride it. But yeah, just have fun. Get crazy, get a get bit loose. weird, get a bit weird. Do whatever you want. Have have a good time. Let us know how it goes. All right, another young lady, mate. They're coming in with all the confessions mm-hmm. and issues this week. Yeah. This is a bit of a weird one. <clears throat> so, just a quick question: Her granddad won't stop kissing her on the lips. She's out of high school and has a 
has a boyfriend, mate. Last Christmas, she brought it up that she wasn't comfortable with him kissing her on the lips anymore. So, granddad, stop kissing, yeah. me. Stop kissing me on the lips. Come on. I'm 20. I've got a boyfriend. He ended up chucking a tantrum and didn't talk to me the rest of the night. The granddad chucked a tantrum. How dare you? I'm your granddad. Act your age. <laughs> so he likes giving her a little kiss on the lips. She's I, not comfortable anymore. She's 20. I never experienced that. It was always on the cheek from, yeah. from my grandma or from my, my granddad. Um, but yeah, look. Yeah, my granddad doesn't kiss me on the lips either. So. No. <laughs> so look, it's not probably the... It's not... It's not an ideal situation. She's done the right thing, in other words. Maybe talk to your pe- mum or dad about it. You yes. know, and they can relay yeah. the message to their parents. Mm-hmm. That's the best way to go about it. The fact that he hasn't talked to you, a bit rude. Well, who else does he, does he kiss your mum on the lips still? Or your dad? You know what I mean? Does he kiss... If you have other siblings, is he a He's affectionate... He's walking around making out with everyone. Yeah, is he an affectionate man? He's got the dog's does tongue down you, his yeah, throat. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Give us a little follow-up. Let me know the whole situation. Yeah. Does he kiss everyone or is it just you? Does granddad have a soft spot for you? <laughs> oh, whatever. Oh, let me read this one. Oh, this is a good one. Let me get on board. All right. Another young girl. Bro. All right. I was seeing and sleeping with this guy for a while and people would always make jokes about how similar we look. Long story short, I ended up finding out he was my second cousin and freaking the fuck out. My heart literally dropped. Help. Well, I mean, we can't help you. The deed we is can't done. Help. Yeah, yeah, you fucked your second, second cousin. cousin. So that's your cousin's son or daughter. So that's your, it's her cousin's it's, son. Yeah, yeah. Cousin's son. Yeah, Bro, it's her cousin's son. Her uncle's son's son. Yes. It's literally her cousin's son. How do you not know that? Oh, yeah, they, I guess you... It might, might be a bit, not, di- yeah, that's a bit more bit distant. Dis- bit more dis- don't see them often. Um, yeah, you're keeping it in the probably family, Probably different mate. last name. Yeah. But still, you're keeping it in the family. I don't know. Was it fun? Did you keep going after or? And yeah, she goes, because we said, oh, geez, it's definitely going to be in next week's potty. And she said, glad the worst time of my life can bring others entertainment. She's not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as she sound, well, it sounds like she was having fun before she knew that. So my, hooking up with your, your cousin, that's probably not the best thing. But Second then, cousin? Then, no. Like, <laughs> How related are you? It's blood. How much, though? A fair bit. <laughs> unlucky, you know? It is unlucky. It's not... It's a small world. It's not the best thing at all. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Is that it? We got... Oh, this one... I, I can't find the message. Okay. But it was told let's just, let's from just a say bloke. It. Okay. And he was telling us. So, him and his cousin, right? We're, we're staying in the family here. Yeah, yeah. Him and his cousin had a threesome with a girl, right? Congrats. Yeah. So, you know, they pulled her. And then what happened was she ends up being pregnant. And one of them is the dad. Wow. And they don't want to, like, it was something like they're not going to find out who did it. They both fucked off or something like that. That's incredible. So who's the dad? One of the cousins is, bro. One of the cousins. And they'll never know. Because like, they, I'm pretty sure, said that they just fled and, like, they don't care about, like, they just... How many pregnancies have happened through threesomes? I want to know. Mm. Like, imagine if it's um, a guy and two girls, right? Oh. Double pregnancy. Imagine that. Wow. Imagine wow. if one man makes two girls pregnant. That's like there was a guy who used to play That's AFL incredible. Or NRL. And he had two babies in the same week from two different women. Josh Hill, West yeah. Coast, yep. Ridiculous. Congratulations, bro. Yeah, congratulations. Double dad. He's double the father you'll be. <laughs> you have. There you go. <laughs> yeah. In but one go. Also, it's um, like having twins, weird. but not. It'd be weird having those kids meet each other and be like, oh, yeah. We're the same age. We're brother and sister and we're not twins. And wow. mummy's different. Well, I mean, enjoy, you know, if that's what you want to do on your weekends. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but it's funny. There you go. That's it, mate. We're all we're all out for this that's week. It for this episode. Thank you once again for joining us. If you're new, remember to subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. Get us to 10k. Road the vlog to 10k. will be out by now, probably. Maybe, hopefully. And there should be a dating show 
We don't know when that'll come out, but coming Coming soon. soon. Coming to theatre soon. Tomorrow. So the Saturday is getting filmed. Yeah. Going to be a big editing task, though, with multiple camera angles and a lot of people involved. It's going to be good. Stay safe. Have a good one, and we'll see you next week. Parties all day, raves at night, beach babes and the boys with the six four height. The sun and the sand and the Jaeger in your hand that you bought yesterday from the local liquor land.